In this video, I'm going to briefly present PGDiff, a novel code differencing tool that leverages program dependence graphs to better highlight semantic change. Through the use of this data structure, the tool inspects control and data dependencies and aims to more intelligently understand changes between versions of a program when compared with traditional text-based methods. This video should act as a supplement to the paper and I'm going to showcase and give a demo of the tool now. So here we have two versions of the same file, test file.java, and let's assume for whatever reason I want to inspect the changes. The two files are shown here in this PR, and the specific difference in versions is not representative of every delta, although it aims to showcase some particularly common transformations. This includes the renaming of methods, the moving of methods, for example, this identical method here has been moved to the bottom of the file, uh, reordering of control flow, such as here, um, simplifying expressions, renaming variables, and restructuring loops. So now I can run pgdiff on the same two files, uh, let the tool pass, and difference the code versions. This can be done through the command line as shown, although I'm using Maven as a build automation tool, you can package and run the .jar. This is described in the repository. So the command takes a few arguments. Uh, it takes uh, a directory for the source uh, versions, the pre-patch and post-patch versions, as well as it requires some information uh, on a compiled version of both of these files. Namely, we need to provide the directory where the compiled version exists and the fully qualified name. This is so that the PDGs can be generated properly from the IR level. So this is now run. Uh, and now there are two ways that we can um, visualize the output. The first is with a traditional text-based view, which is accessed through running the front end of pgdiff. This is, this is that. So like traditional text-based differencing, red here represents a deletion, and green here represents an insertion. And then the nuance of pgdiff is this highlighting uh, in miscellaneous colors, which is used to represent an update, where two lines are deemed semantically similar or very similar um, across versions, but they've just undergone some small textual change. And this is so represented in a highlighting that's consistent across the two uh, before and after versions. So this is particularly useful when detecting movement of code across versions. For example, these two lines here in maroon and purple, and then here they're in purple and maroon. The order has been swapped and they've undergone a small textual change. This represents that these lines are semantically very similar, but there's been some reordering in the code base. As another example, the identical method here uh, is not colored, but it is moved to the bottom of the file. This is because it is semantically the same. It has just been moved within the file. So the second way of visualizing is more law to the idea of graph-based differencing and works through representing the changes between two matched methods as a single delta graph. So within the out directory, which is populated after a run, the tool generates a dot graph for each of the pairings of methods. For example, we're going to inspect the delta graph from the two methods detailed computation uh, and complex calculation. And you can tell these have been matched to one another because they have uh, corresponding colors across versions, this blue and this yellow. Um, so I've pruned this graph slightly for the sake of making this demonstration clearer, but for all intents and purposes, uh, this is the same effective output as the tool would give. And this visualization is probably slightly less familiar as it represents change at the IR level. Uh, this is where the matching process in PGDF occurs. A gray node such as these represents no change across versions. An orange node like this represents a uh, update instruction, uh, update operation, sorry, i.e. a line of code that is assumed to be similar across versions that has just had some small textual update. Uh, trivially, red represents deletion and green represents insertion. Moreover, this graph represents change in dependencies. For example, this control dependency has been added uh, as is shown by its in green. Uh, finally, in addition, Line numbers at the higher source code level are also described so the reader can kind of bridge the gap between the IR level and the higher level. So to kind of put this into perspective, these two green nodes here, the addition of a decrement to result and um, a go to correspond to this uh, addition of this else clause. The go to represents the loop back to the beginning of the loop and this is the actual body of the else. So this tool is open source and available on GitHub and can be accessed at this domain. Uh, the repository contains a description of the workings of the tool, a guide on how to interpret the results, um, and uh, information on setup and dependencies. Please feel free to contact me with any issues regarding the tool or the code base, and thank you very much for watching.